Roots. In fact, some very heartwarming news coming in. Indian officials have offered tweets to the Philippines Marine Corps officers on the delivery of the Brahmos missiles to the Philippines. This under an export order of $375 million. Remember, this entire deal was inked uh, between uh, India and the Philippines. Even Russia is part of this entire uh, project and it was inked earlier in the year 2022. Has finally found fruition as the delivery was finally made to the Philippines. Let's quickly go across to Akash who's joining me with the latest. Akash, share with us what a joyous moment this is, not just for India and the Philippines but Russia too. Having said that, uh, get, share the details of this delivery. Right, so first of all, this is for the benefit of our viewers. The Philippines has uh, received the first battery of Brahmos under a deal that was signed in year 2020 between India and Philippines. Now, under this deal, this is a deal of Rs. 2700 crore. And under this deal, India has to give Philippines three batteries of Brahmos supersonic cruise missile, which is, of course, a joint venture of Russia and India. And this is indeed a big development because uh, Philippines is the first country to receive uh, Brahmos missile. And, you know, at a time when Philippines is actually seeing a lot of aggression and, you know, the kind of tension that, uh, is, that has been escalated, in fact, between China and Philippines. So this development is very crucial. In fact, we have seen the kind of activities that have happened in the past in the South China Sea. And in the backdrop of all what has happened in the past today, Philippines has received the first battery right. of Brahmos, which is a good news not just for Philippines but for India as well. Absolutely. And what's extremely interesting is that this entire system allows firing of two missiles within a span of 10 seconds. Many thanks to you, Akash, for bringing in all those inputs. And with that, it's a quick wrap from my end. Thank you so much for watching. Our live and rolling coverage of phase one of the polling continues as my colleague Poonam Bode takes.